Welcome to Drawing Post's Rhino videos. In this first part of creating a bezel set pendant tutorial, we'll be creating a stylized bezel setting for the cabochon template we created in the previous project. We'll be turning this into a simple pendant for a necklace. In the first part of the tutorial, we'll create the pendant piece. In the next part, we'll create the bill to attach the pendant to the necklace. Make sure you check out how to create the cabochon from the previous tutorial. Before we begin, ensure you're familiar with the following Rhino basic skills, viewport manipulation, layers, basic shape creation, ortho, and O snaps. The key learning points we'll be practicing in this tutorial include polyline, trim and join commands, duplicate edge, and rail revolve. Let's begin by opening up Rhino and navigating to the default new model template option. We'll go ahead and set up our project. Name the project bezel template, and create the following layers, cons lines and bezel setting. Go ahead and delete any unused layers. Now let's go ahead and import the cabochon gem we created in the last tutorial. Begin by opening up the cabochon file, Select the gem, Command C for Mac or Control C for Windows. Return to the bezel template file and paste it using Command V for Mac or Control V for Windows. You'll now have the cabochon template on the construction plane centered at zero. We'll go ahead now to create the custom shape to form the basis for revolving the bezel. Let's go to front view. And I'll change my view mode to ghosted so we can get a better look. Ensure that the cons lines layer is current and that end and quadrant O snaps are the only ones turned on. We'll also go ahead and zoom in to the right side of the cabochon. That should be good there. We'll create the first part of the shape to be revolved using the polyline command. Input the command. And for the start of polyline, snap to the right end of the base of the cabochon. For the next point on polyline prompt, I also have a little divot in my stone that I want to cover. So I'm going to bring it up two millimeters on the stone. Input two, press enter, and draw your cursor straight up on the construction plane, holding down shift to engage ortho and keep the line straight. Click when ready. For the next point on polyline prompt, input 0 0.5. This will be the bezel that will hold the stone securely. Holding down shift to engage ortho, draw your cursor straight to the right and click on the construction plane when the line is straight. For the next point on polyline prompt, input one, press enter, and draw the cursor straight down, holding down shift to engage ortho and clicking on the construction plane to create the point. For the next point, input 1.5, press enter, and draw the cursor straight to the right again, holding down shift to engage ortho, keeping the line straight. Click on the construction plane when done. And now for the next point on polyline, input two and press enter, and draw your cursor straight down, holding down shift to engage ortho, and click on the construction plane to create the point. For the next point on polyline prompt, input three, press enter, and bring your cursor straight to the left, holding down shift to engage ortho and keeping the line straight, and click on the construction plane. For the next point on polyline, input one, press enter, and draw your cursor straight up, clicking on the construction plane to create the point. And finally, we'll finish off the shape by clicking where we started it, where we see that point and in quadrant O snap appear. Click on the construction plane to complete the point, and our shape is now complete. Let's create an arc on the right side of the shape we just created to give a smooth ridged effect to the pendant. Input the arc command, choose the start point option. For the start of arc, snap to the left end of the lower middle part of the shape. For the end of arc, Snap to the point directly across. For the point on arc prompt, draw your cursor straight upwards until we get a nice smooth arc. Ensure that the curves of the arc don't intersect with the vertical line to the left. We don't want to go anything like this. Keep it about here and click on the construction plane when you're ready. 
Let's trim away the horizontal line where the arc meets the shape, and then join the results together. Select the shapes in the arc, input the trim command, and at the Select Object to Trim prompt, select the horizontal line where the arc meets the shape. Press Enter to complete the command, and keeping the curves and lines still selected, input the Join command. You should now see the prompt that shows we have two curves joined into a closed curve. We now have a single, somewhat funny looking shape. We're almost ready to complete the last part of the project. We'll be using the rail revolve command to create and revolve the shape. Before we do though, we need to extract the curve from the bottom of the stone cabochon template. We can use the dupe edge command to do that. Let's go to perspective view. I'm going to change my view mode to ghosted. I've also noticed before I create my bezel that on the layers panel, the colors for the bezel setting and the cabochon are the same. Let's change the bezel setting color so we don't get confused. I'll click on the color icon and change the color to a nice gold. I'm going to zoom in on my shape now. I'll go ahead now and enter the dupe edge command. At the select edges to duplicate prompt, I'll select the base edge of the stone. I'll press enter. We can now see the curve we've created from the edge, highlighted in yellow. Let's go ahead now and use the rail revolve command to create the pendant form. Ensure the bezel setting layer is current. Select the shape we created previously. Input the rail revolve command. And for the rail curve, select the edge we just duplicated. If the choose objects prompt comes up, choose the curve, not the poly surface edge. For the start of Rail Revolve Access, input 0, press Enter, and for the end of Rail Revolve Access, input the coordinates 0, 0, 6. Press Enter, and you can now see we've created the pendant form. Let's go ahead and view it in rendered view mode. I'll change my material settings to the bezel first. I'll click on the icon, give it a gold color, and some gloss and reflectivity. And now, since the stone I want to use as a sapphire, I'll do the same for the cabochon. I'll click on the material setting icon, give it a nice blue color, some gloss, transparency and reflectivity, and let's view this in rendered view mode. Looks pretty good. You can see the bottom of the stone and the setting that's open. And we have a nice setting for our stone. Stay tuned for the second part of this project to finish off the pendant setting, creating the bale.